Hey, it's your girl Abby Ishala, and I'm here with Duncan Daniels, producer, songwriter, recording artist. What's up, Duncan? I'm good. Looking fly. How you, how you been? I'm good. <laughs> See the way where you just they grind, like say you day rewind. Try see Tell us a little bit about your new single, Wine I'm Low. Wine I'm Low. Hmm. Um, Wine I'm Low takes me from one level of what I do to a total, total different um, style of music that is is still is new to me. I'm still learning the process. Um, it's a wonderful song because. I'm glad that it appealed to a lot of people. It's just a fun song. Really, there's there's no meaning to it. It's just, you know, let's just party and let's dance and have fun. I come from a, a, a pop rock and roll background. Life is like a candle slowly burning through the hands of time. You know, I had not developed that skill to be comfortable enough to like do something like really for my Nigerian audience. So my music has tended to like be a little bit universal, a little bit, you know, out there like, you know, Euro and um, US based and a little elements of Nigeria that are not fully Nigerian. So it was tough. So I had to do a lot of research. I listened to a, a lot of wonderful Nigerian artists, saw what's the trend, you know, and, you know, took me about, <laughs> usually it takes me about like 15 minutes to write a song. But that song took me about two weeks to write because I had to like really hit the nail with it. How did it come about with you working with M.I.? M.I. was like really good, nice guy. I didn't pay M.I. a dime. No dime. We just, you know, put a contract together and all that. He did that free of charge for me. Wow. Something that you know, most Nigerians today, unfortunately, can't do that, but God bless him, I, and that's why, you know, till tomorrow, God's always going to bless him. He's always going to be doing well. I'm a showstopper, I do my things proud. Describe your sound. You've been compared to Akon, especially with your song, Showstopper. What is the Duncan Daniels sound? There's a, there are a lot of Duncans. The other day, I, I compiled all, all my records. <laughs> almost 70 of them to some people they think I've recorded one song to some people I've recorded three songs you know that's 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 general you know to, some people don't know that after like this came out there was a 19 track album that was released called Showstopper my sound is not s specific to just one genre I'm a producer one of the most versatile producers you could ever I mean I've done everything from salsa to 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 country so what are the obstacles of being a Nigerian musician in America there are Nigerian artists out here who actually tend to um, do music to you know um, for the Nigerian audience but it's hard if you're that guy trying to do music for a Nigerian audience here because the thing is no matter how talented you are as a Nigerian artist doing music for Nigerian audience here they Nigerian audience here will not respect you I wouldn't say respect I think that's a harsh word promoters won't get you for shows well for me the thing about me is I'm a producer first that comes first so no matter what happens with my music as a artist I still have I still make a living as a producer which is, you know, pretty good for me. Um, I'm not a, a fame crazed person. I'm not I'm not into like getting too famous. I'm not I'm not if I get famous fine, but I'm not all about like that. That's that's not what I came here to do. I love music and I love entertaining people with my music. I love seeing someone smile when you listen to my music. That that's what comes first. Yeah. 